what's up guys so i wanted to look at something that I, i've saw other people talk about in the martial arts youtube spaces uh particularly uh armchair violence he uh made a video about what is the best martial art and spoiler alert he says it's wrestling specifically scholastic wrestling the type of wrestling that you learned like in middle school and high school which was like a combination of different wrestling styles like catch wrestling and greco-roman wrestling and stuff like that but I, I don't fully disagree with him i think it's the best grappling style overall but i don't know if it's the best martial art just for the fact that it doesn't have any striking in it now if one wants to argue that striking isn't necessary for self-defense that's that's debatable however i from my own anecdotal experiences as well as uh being in the military and um seeing other competitors fight professionally on and on the amateur level it seems a good strike is just irreplaceable in your arsenal for self-defense um i've seen people argue that you can't do sophisticated striking and and close quarter spaces like in bars and stuff like that but again in close quarters combat in the military you're taught striking skills so i don't know about that uh for my money i would say muay thai is the best um and i will put that on the same bar with lethway which is burmese uh kickboxing or the Cambodian kickboxing style, I don't remember the name of that, or Sanda, the Chinese kickboxing. They're pretty much all kind of similar, particularly left way and Muay Thai. Uh, the difference between left way and Muay Thai, guys, can you can correct me if I'm wrong here, is that I think most left way fights are fought bare knuckled. They are bare knuckled Muay Thai fights, but they're not the standard. The standard with Muay Thai is are using gloves but maybe left way and muay thai split where uh muay thai back in the early 20th century adopted western boxing rules and no longer would fight uh with the with the um roped hands or whatever so in, in any case they also use headbutts and left way which aren't allowed in muay thai and neither one of them do ground submission. Like they both allow throws and takedowns and foot sweeps, but they don't allow uh, ground submission, nor do they allow you to do judo type <laughs> leg locks and stuff like that. And um, those sorts of things where you can curl your leg under the other person and <laughs> stuff like that. But anyway, I think Muay Thai or its equivalent martial arts forms in Southeast Asia because you're taught you're taught how to box, you're taught how to kick and knee and elbow, and you're taught clinch work. Clinch work is stand up grappling, which is very similar to what you might do in Greco Roman wrestling. So you're taught that and you even taught certain trapping skills, which isn't for the Wing Chun um, bros out there, is not, trapping isn't just what Wing Chun people do or Kung Fu people in general. Like other martial arts do trapping. <laughs> like Kali and Filipino martial arts, they do trapping. Salat, they do trapping. <laughs> and uh, Muay Thai, they do trapping. But it's not going to be that Ip Man type stuff that you see because that doesn't really work different story <laughs> but yeah for my money muay thai guys I, I i would say is the one of the best martial arts as far as for self-defense and for competition you can you can use it either way and like i said i won't disagree that scholastic wrestling is an overall pretty good self-defense i just don't think it's the end-all be-all because it doesn't have striking in it 
whereas you can do Muay Thai and not have to worry about doing ground submissions. And if you want to, you can just practice, um, you know, uh, defending against leg takedowns and you're already well-rounded. So there it is, guys, my hot take. I think the best martial art. And I'm biased, but again, so was armchair violence. He comes from a, a grappling background. I come from a striking background. Although my first martial art I practiced was judo. And it wasn't useful. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I, I think for the money, you need to have striking in your self-defense or you can't call something the best martial art for self-defense. Yes, you can wrap people up and nullify their strikes, but at some point, you just need to learn how to punch someone. And if that doesn't come from your system, then that system is incomplete as a self-defense. I'm just a contrarian.